Uh, okay, online, uh -huh. and then uh, zo like Zoom. Uh -huh. Okay, basically it's uh, um, it's just I use the same same thing. Uh -huh. That's the reason I bought this Mac Mini and then all the setup, and then it's just that my student is opposite online. Uh -huh. Ah, same thing. But then the thing is that. Like behind the screen, you yeah. don't know what they are doing. Oh thing. no no, the thing is okay uh, So it's like I'm I'm very busy. Do you know uh, I'm always very busy uh, writing down or yeah. recording and all. Then uh, no, I can see they are they are there. And some okay, some some parents they are actually sitting next, not mm -hmm. not in the video but next to them so that to make sure that they are paying attention. Mm -hmm. Or if they don't pay attention, that means they are not mature enough to behave themselves and I think then they are not ready for P6 uh -huh. oh, so right? is, like in P5 yeah. I was like those who is like doing funny things yeah. behind it yeah it's okay it's okay and then, and then so like because like at that time I'm talking about 1 to 1 I'm not talking about 1 to 40 like your class yeah I'm not talking about 1, one teacher one. 40 yeah, yeah, and 40. you are one of the 40 yeah yeah I know 1 to 40 is very hard to manage but then one to one like mm. like science and yeah. like English is one to one mm. is okay. Yeah. But then when it comes to math, because I have tuition outside. Yeah. It's, it's like, like one to class. Yeah, it's one like to one to eighteen people. Yeah. So it's, it's a bit like, hard. I'll be like, mm. like if the teachers are okay, I'll, yeah. I'll because like I'll do my work very yeah. quiet, right? Mm. After I'm done, I just don't mm -hmm. listen anymore. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then when she when he asks me a question, mm. I'm like. Uh, lost uh, lo very lost mm, mm, mm. yeah so okay. it was like mm. I didn't really focus in P5 mm. then in P6 mm. when I went for like the cut the harder question mm. like 5 mark mm. question mm. Mm. I was having difficulties yeah, yeah yeah actually um yeah these days i've been teaching the students the framework the framework to solve those problems some questions mm. actually there are a, a several frameworks you follow and then you should be able to solve the problem some question but of course that's okay let's focus on this so we have talked about statistics okay so for testis for statistics just to recap so you record uh -huh. A, or tally tally means you um, tally up yeah. okay and then uh, you present mm -hmm. so you present uh, the, the, the data in in charts right mm -hmm. so you have the bar chart you have the dot diagram you have the uh, pie chart right mm -hmm. and of course you have many more yes. and assume, okay the stem and leaf And after that, then you analyze. Okay, you analyze with uh, the three common metrics. Okay, the three M's are uh -huh. mean, mode, median. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this question, the question on the left hand side here. Okay, so uh, the question says the masses of five boys are this. So find the mean, median, mode, and their masses. Okay, the, 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 the number one thing you need to do, uh, given the five masses of five boys is you have to rearrange them in ascending order. Do you know why you need to rearrange them in ascending order? So that when, when it's like for the median. Correct, for the easier. median. Yes, for the median, then you can find the middle number. Okay? If not, if they are not in any sort of order, so let let's start with the order they uh they, you are given. Okay, it's not in any um meaningful order, right over here. Then you you have five of them, right? Mm -hmm. So five of them, you can. This is first half. This is second half, and this is the middle number. Yeah. And seventy two turns out to be the median. Yeah. If if you don't arrange them in any order yes. okay therefore your median can be different from other people's median uh -huh. because what is the meaning of median let me just do the median first what's the meaning of median median means middle number right yes. so in a way right the 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 the, the, the definition middle number means I want the number in the middle or in this case you should arrange them from smallest 
two largest and pick the middle number for me mm -hmm. to find the median. So that that's the reason there is a need for you to rearrange them in ascending order. Ascending means smallest to largest, right? So let's do that. So uh, forty three smallest. Then the next is forty three again. I see two forty three by the way. Right? Then after that is forty six and then fifty and then seventy two. Yeah. Okay? So double check whether they are already in ascending order. Okay? Mm -hmm. right? So once they are in ascending order, just you have five of them. So this is the first half, this is the second half, and in between you have the answer forty six. So the median is forty six. Yes. Right? So for this uh, question, uh, the median is quite clear. Okay? It's this is the uh, the, the, the one uh, it stands out. Okay? Once you um, have the first half and the second half. Yes. Okay? So this 46 is the median. Okay? Then for the mean, for the mean, I think it starts to be quite easy already, right? Yeah. For the mean, it's just the average. It's the average, right? Yeah. So for the average, you just add up, then you get a total, and you divide by five of them, right? Yes. So you get the mean. Then for the mode, so which one appears the most? 43 kg. Yeah, 43 kg. Okay, so in a way, right, this one you also need to put a unit. Huh? Yeah. Okay, so uh, that's how you get uh, mean, mode, median. Okay? For uh, question one. Yeah. Then uh, part B, yes. Mm. For the medium, right? Yeah, median. It's like 43. Not medium, median. Uh, yeah. no, no, it's not 43, medium. 46. Yeah. It's medium, right? Median. Median. Yeah. For the medium. Yeah. Like, what if it's like only like 43, 72, 50, and 43? So 43? Like, <coughs> 43, like, yeah. um, 46, 50, and 70. Mm, good. So, Two, you, 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 you break it into first half and second half, right? Yeah. So, f let's say we do this. We only have four numbers. So, this is your first half, right? Yeah. So, this is your second half, right? Yes. And then you, you, you see that there is no number in the middle. Uh-huh. So, it's here. That means it's in between. Yeah. So, it's in between what and what? So it's in between 46, 46 and 50. So what is between 56 and 50? 48, right? How do you get that? Add these two, divide by two. Okay. So you get 48. Okay. Okay? Yes. So basically you need to find a middle number mm. between 46 and 50 because there is no number that stands out mm -hmm. in this case. Okay. So you need to choose a number in between. That's why you always that's why you have the first half, you have the second half. In this case, you have the 46 in the middle. Mm. Okay? Then, over here, you don't have anything in the middle. That's why you, you, you draw a line here to, to tell yourself mm -hmm. um, it should be here. So, what is in the middle between 46 and 50? Yeah. And then you just add them together and divide by 2. Mm -hmm. Then, you should get 40. Okay? Okay? Okay, so let's say if you have minus 3, minus 2, 1, and 2. So, if you need to find a median for this set of data, mm -hmm. this is the first half, this is the second half, and you don't have a number that stands out, right? Mm -hmm. So, it's in, in between, right? Mm -hmm. If it's in between, so you just minus 2 plus 1, mm -hmm. you, add, you add these two together, yeah. and you will buy 2. And then this will be negative 1 divided by 2 is negative 0.5, so that's mm -hmm. the median for this set of data. Clear? Yes. Oh, how do you spell median? Median. Actually, you can uh, refer to this also. Yes. Okay? Yes. Okay? Mm. Next. The next question is, is which measure would give a fair gauge of the average mass of this body? Yeah. So we talk about that. So whether we should use the, the median or the, or the mean. mean to is 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 a better uh gauge to tell the average mass of these boys. What do you think? Should you take the the median is what the median is forty six right in this case? Yes. Compared to the average, can you can you tell me the average? Average I got mm. ten point six then. No, cannot be. You you have to redo this. Cannot be because the 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 smallest is forty three. So it must be forty three and above. Wait. Your average can never be, be can, can can never be lower than the smallest number in the 
series. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, my just just tell me what's the average. Ten point one six. No, 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 no. How do you get average? Just so tell you me. Add up the. Add up what? Add up the uh, weight. Okay. Then you divide uh, by five. Add up which weight? The forty, forty three, mm -hmm. uh, forty six plus forty three plus seventy two plus fifty plus forty three. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Then did, you divide by. Do you do you yeah. see in that? Yeah. Yeah. I I did did it. Can you do it again? Show me one by one. 46. So basically you just show me the, the total first. Plus 72. Plus 50. Mm. Plus 43. Yeah, give me the total first. 254. Mm -hmm. So 254 mm. divided by 5. 50.8. Mm. Mm. Okay, good. So the mean is... 50.8. Okay, good. So between the median and the mean, right? Uh, between the mean and the median, this is the median. For this set of data, which one is a more a fair gauge of the average? First thing, you ask yourself. We talked about the median or mean last time, right? Yes. When do we use the median? When do we use the mean? Uh. When, you, when we use mean, okay, the difference mean. is not very big. Okay, so when we use the mean, basically we have a, uh, we call it uniformly distributed data. Yes. We use the median when you don't have the uniformly distributed data, means bias. Yes. Bias, what's the meaning of bias? Bias means skewed. Skewed means skewed to one side. Yes. Okay? skewed to one side that's the meaning of bias okay so you look at this side of data mm -hmm. does it skewed to one side or quite uniform it's quite what's the meaning of uniform uniform is that like the difference yeah between those like numbers mm -hmm. are not very big. Okay, let's let's decide. Zero, three, four, twenty-two. Yeah. So, do you think this is uniformly distributed or quite skewed to one side? Quite skewed to one side. Yes, actually, this set of data is quite skewed to one side. Skewed to which side? The left, like fifty and below. Uh -huh. The 72 is, 72 is suddenly is like very far away. Yeah. In a way, the 72, right? Suddenly, like you have a 72, this is called an outlier. Outlier means it's so special. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. It's so special. It's called outlier. So, yeah, that's a very good way to, to see whether it's uniformly distributed or not. It's you look at the, You look at the difference between the... Of course, you need to get it into ascending order first. Then you will see that the difference actually zero, three, four. This, this, the first four, right? Actually, is quite uniformly distributed until the fifty, 50 and, and beyond. Yes. So in a way, right? This set of data is quite skewed. Mm -hmm. So if it's skewed, right? I think median should be the one mm -hmm. to to be the fair gauge of the average mass of this box. All right. So therefore, median. Okay. Yes. Good. So.